What's up, everyone? This is Talks with Kenny, and these transgender, these transgender women are going to replace our women, though. You feminists, y'all, y'all messed up, y'all messed up big time here, because, in my opinion, when Bruce Jenner came out and they they he won Woman of the Year, that's where I should have that, that's where I should have did the pushback because now, y'all give an inch, they took a mile. They're like, okay, Woman of the Year, it happened before, we can do it again. And you never check them. How someone who only been a woman for four years is a woman of the year? You've been a woman your whole life. And someone who only been a woman for four years is a better woman than you. Imagine that. That's like someone's coming in. I only got one year experience. And he's a better engineer than you. And you've been here 30 years. It makes no sense. This is just this, like a circle jerk at this point. But yes, the patriarchy strikes again. Social media explodes over UPenn's move to elevate trans swimmer. Leah Thomas, Leah Thomas, oh, the narcissistic Leah Thomas. It's misogyny and utter contempt for the truth. Social media, okay, we were, we read that. Phil, Phil, uh, Pennsylvania nominated transgender swimmer Leah Thomas, who is a biological male and self-identifies as a woman for the 2022 NCAA Woman of the Year. You feminists messed up bad. Oh, but maybe this is what you guys wanted, you know? Leah Thomas, Thomas, 22, competed on the men's team at the University of Pennsylvania before identifying as a female in 2019 and taking testosterone blockers and estrogen. The swimmer started competing on the women's team in 2021 and quickly cleaned up at the NCAA Division I National Championship, taking the women's 500-yard freestyle event this March. It isn't inclusion that leads the Ivy League to pull stunts like this. Irreversible damage, author Avergil Shear commented it's misogyny and also utterly contempt for the truth and it is all right they can make you believe a lie they can make you believe anything right and no that was one of the this was one of the issues that a lot of people had especially the men was that the women needed to speak up that women needed to protest that women needed to fight for themselves because in a day if a man say hey that's not a woman that's like you letting the men take all the arrows and all the slander and all the getting canceled over you guys you want us to come they're always going to be like oh they're not complaining in it and i'm actually competing with them you guys are outside looking in why y'all complaining for if they're not complaining for and if we we stuck we can't answer that we're like yeah you're right if they're not complaining about it they must they must not mind then you guys can't react after the fact Right, we got to be more proactive when it comes to things like this. All right, start all the way with Bruce Jenner. They get you, you know, they massage you, you know, make sure you're comfortable with the idea, and then bam, they hit you. Then it hit, it goes, it hits you where it hurts, right? Because no one cares until it affects them. That's that's what I noticed. Academia speaks, said Michael Duran, a senior fellow and director of the Center for Peace and Security in the Middle Middle East at Hudson Institution. Every woman is an NCA. Every woman in the NCAA must boycott, writer Kimberly Morin charged. They are pushing for men to erase women. If you allow it, they will continue and you will reap what you sow and you will aid in the destruction of women's sports. It's already happening, right? These men that they they were mediocre in the men's level and they go and they look at the women's level and like, my scores, I would have been top. I'll be number one if I just switch over to the other side. That's tempting. That's that's narcissistic, honestly. Like, because imagine. You're a man, and he apparently he still has his uh, all his male parts, if you know what I'm talking about. And he goes into the locker room. He sees these women, and the women feel obviously uncomfortable, but he don't care. He's like, mm, okay, like, and and apparently he still has a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Like, and then when you make the claim that oh, I think he's just doing it because he 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 gets to be first place or whatever, they're like, no, there's no there's no inherent advantage. Like, you forget about science then, you know? This is why they, they call it the science, the, that political correct science. That's that's what they're talking about. That's a, This is a religion at this point. Transgenderism is a religion, in my opinion. It's a religion. And if you don't believe it, huh, you're this. That's, that's what a homophobe, transphobic, that's their version of that. Radio host Dom Dureno, Dureno remarked, they won't ease up. They don't. <laughs> they keep coming. The patriarchy strikes again, another user says, Greg. In a direct attack on its female athletes, UPenn suggests transgendered person as NCAA Woman of the Year award. Judicial Watch Tom Fetter said, "As a woman who was born, as a woman who was born a woman at birth and had to fight against a lot of BS for 33 years to get what I am in my career, this pissed me off." 
barely Ann commented. Vanessa Santos mocked. Seems fair. Yeah, it does. It seems fair. Eh. Four years, your whole life. Eh. Seems fair. Some teammates have spoken out over the inclusion of Thomas due to the advantage that athlete has as a biological male. One new Penn film, uh, female swimmer who, who remains anonymous out of fear for retribution told best-selling author and podcaster uh, Matt Walsh in the Daily Wild's groundbreaking documentary, What is a Woman? You guys want me to react to What is a Woman? Let me let me know in the comment section because I watched it and I really, my bro, my brother who's apolitical, he watched it and he said he like he found it informative, he liked it. Hey, give me your thoughts. Let me know in the comment section. That's even that's even basic concerns about the locker room was not allowed to be brought up. If they were, you were you would be smeared as transphobic. Notably, Thomas still has a penis and has not had surgery to remove it and dates females, according to teammates. So he's a lesbian, technically. If you ever brought up concerns about this, you're transphobic, she told Walsh. <sighs> this is crazy, man. So you guys think Leah Thomas is gonna win? Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Let me guys know what you, thought, what you guys think in the comment section below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.